with Gilligan here on Vancouver Island. Okay, Wednesday, September 17th, and I'm just heading down to the beach here. I'm on Douglas uh, Avenue, mile zero, Victoria, BC. Heading down to the beach, the entrance to the beach is right there. I'm going to pick up some samples so we can test them for radiation. Okay, I was just over there, and now I'm heading down the path to the ocean. And there's the ocean right here, and there's that green buoy. Just coming down the stairs here, and uh, what do I see right over here? Oh, bull kelp. What's that? Okay, our first specimen here. Again, the green boy. So you folks know it's all coming from the same area. I'll be picking up this bull kelp leaf and testing it. Okay, again, the boy. Here I am again. I'm right down here. I'm coming to pick up this turtle. I mean, uh, turtle. <laughs> Dead crab here. And by the way, look at those beautiful sea anemones. And I'm actually at a dried out zone here. I'm above the, the ocean a little bit. There's about a four or five foot drop. So this little tidal pool gets very little water. That's why it's kind of murky. Okay, so I'm unable to get that one. You have to be very fast with the limpets or else they just attach to the rocks. But I did get a couple here and uh, I'm gonna go back down here and see if I can get a few more because uh, there's a lot more limpets down here. And I also saw a little crab. If I see him again, I'll pick him up and uh, yeah, we'll test the crab also. Okay, same buoy, same location here. And uh, I came down from over there and started to rain here. I've only been on the beach for about what, less than 10 minutes. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be heading in for today, for this afternoon. I'll be back down tomorrow to pick up some more specimens. And uh, I've ended up right where you saw that uh, heron there on the uh, kelp patch. So there it is right there. And turns out there's a bunch of kelp washed up here. So I'm going to take a couple of samples from here. But, uh, oh, my battery already died on the soaks. Anyhow, it's been normal levels here, even with the raindrops. Uh, that's only reading 20 counts per minute right now. That's on the Ludlum 3A. And it's got the military probe on it. So, very low counts right now. Okay, so that's it for now. And uh, yeah, I'm out picking up some more specimens here so we can do some testing. There's just so much life out here. It's sad that he's done 400 kilometers and can't show you any life. Can you see all the life just right down here? Probably not. Full of it. No snails. That's what he says. Okay, same location. And I just to stick around here for a little bit longer. The rain seems to have eased. Okay, there's some more limpets I'll be checking. And I've picked up a couple of these uh, two mussels. And yeah, more to come. Okay, again, from the same location on the other side of that little beach where it was a second ago and uh, just want to show you just how much life is kicking around No bugs for 200 kilometers of the Sunshine Coast. I flip one log. Can you see all the insects flipping around, flying around? I'm about to flip another log here.
Do you see those bugs? How can someone say that all the bugs have vanished? This is one location. One little log along the beach. see all the bugs now. Anyways, I'm going to take some of this kelp home here and test it for Fukushima fallout. Let's flip this. And you see all the bugs underneath there? It's loaded with bugs. Same location. Okay, same location. There's that uh, kelp there. That's where I picked up the kelp. Dead kelp on the beach. You just saw all the bugs there. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you that there's so much life here. It's unbelievable. I'm just at one little location, and it's too bad. It's a rather gloomy day as you can see the, the sun's hidden right now and uh, there's no birds for 200 kilometers I can't believe that anyways um, oh my god and like I couldn't have planned this seriously folks did you see that pop out I hope so it's not like I've got these birds acting here for me anyways um, yeah so I'm just on one little coastline here on the Strait of Juan de Fuca that's the US uh, mountain chain there, Olympic mountain chain across the way. Anyhow, uh, yeah, there's another sea kelp bed. I just wanted to show you, like, just how many barnacles and clams are just in this one little location. It's just full. I mean, seriously. I can't believe that someone's traveled over 400 kilometers and they're still telling you there's no sea life. Honestly, I'm just here, like I said, crappy little old Victoria. Downtown's only about five minutes away. And there's so much life here. Seriously, look at this one location. Look at that, that's just a small little pool, tiny. It's barely a foot and a half by a foot. And uh, there's just so much life right there. No, they're not all dead. So anyways, I'm going to continue on here and uh, look for some more signs of dead life. Okay, again, same location. I've just traveled, not of that, not that entire beach. Actually, I came down right over, right about there. And uh, well, you know how you're being told there's no insects for 200 kilometers. You couldn't find a single insect, not a single insect on the Sunshine Coast for 200 kilometers. Okay, I'm at one little steel pool here. This water of the ocean doesn't get up here anymore. Can you see all the mosquito larvae here? All of those black things are all mosquito larvae. There's thousands upon thousands in that pool. Okay, get ready. I'm going to stomp my feet. You'll see them all leave. I'll have to tap the water here. Hold on a second. Okay, get ready. See, most of them have left. 
it's gone down below. Just tap the water a bit. Full of them. Okay, so I'm back home now, and uh, you're looking at a hermit crab. One amongst uh, several species here that I'm going to be testing tomorrow for radiation. I'm not going to do it today. It's uh, 7 p.m. here on the west coast, and I'm going to make myself some dinner and uh, call it a night. Read my comments, and uh, yeah, I've noticed that even the video I uploaded earlier today, there's actually four com uh, sorry three comments that have not showed up. I can't believe that YouTube's actually doing this, but regardless. Okay, so stay tuned. I got some vegetation too in the fridge, and uh, yeah, I can't believe someone's saying there's no life. Unbelievable. Short little stroll, stroll here along the beach, and I wasn't even out there for 45 minutes.